morning everyone, my name is Crystal, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome all subscribers, welcome new, if you like my videos please do press that like button, please do subscribe, I am at home here in my flat in Rochester, like I am seven days a week, my lovely chihuahua lives with me and my two senior cats. And Snowball too, I know for certain, is getting on for 14 years of age. 14. We all get older, time goes by, that's why if we can, we should all make the most of the time we've got. I know it doesn't always work out that way, it hasn't worked out that way for me. Um, but I do try. Um, I suffer with a chronic pain condition and I've got depression and sometimes I just can't go anywhere, I can't do anything uh, and it's a horrible feeling. So today is Tuesday, um, I've got no plans on actually going anywhere today. Um, I went round to see my elderly mother and she is elderly, she's nearly 80, uh, just to check on her and obviously she wanted me to go up as it's my birthday tomorrow and she wanted to give me a birthday card and I could hear she was a bit distressed on the phone. So I went, I, I, I agreed to go and see my mum. Um, so she's got men. I didn't see any women, I saw two men go into her flat and she was asking what are those holes in the ceiling in the bathroom and I was waiting for the taxi to go home so I didn't hear what the holes in the bathroom ceiling were for but they've, they've gutted my mum's bathroom there's wires, there was wires hanging down from the ceiling the bathroom door was hanging off and there was sawdust on the toilet seat. Now she's quite, she's elderly. So she, you know what I mean? She probably didn't, couldn't see the sawdust on the toilet seat. But when I went into the toilet, I could see all around the rim of the loo seat was sawdust. So I wiped it with loo paper before I sat down. Um, her toilet is built for, my, that was my dad's, um, when my dad was alive they gave him disabled aids like a disabled stool a disabled thing that went over the bath he's got a, he had a handrail so he could hold on to the bath um, at the moment my mum's got no, no nothing because her bathroom's being fixed so she's got no, the rails come down in the bathroom so obviously I was worried she was going to fall over so that is why I sent the police round there and I think I was quite justified too she's got nothing to hold on to in the bathroom there's no handrails in that flat or anything she could have fallen over and have been left on the floor for hours um, I know Sue comes in and she bangs on the door in the morning she bangs on the door at night to check my mother's okay so my mum has got somebody, um, but I thought maybe sometimes her neighbours go on holiday or something, so she could well have been stuck on the floor, couldn't she? Um, she's still herself, but she is getting very frail and hunched over, like the Queen did. She's all hunched over, but she's very, very stubborn, and she doesn't want any help, so... She just have to go along with that. While she can still like get up, cook her dinner, get dressed, and she wants to remain independent, that's her prerogative. No one can stop that. And it happens to us all. It, it, that beauty fades, and you get older, it happens to us all. Every one of us, even the ones that laugh and laugh at, uh, uh, laugh, you've got older your hair's gone grey and all that it happens to them so I don't worry about it anymore 
you've got to be yourself whatever age you are you've got to be yourself and not copy anybody else and don't look at anybody else I mean you don't know what people have gone through why they're like that you can choose everyone's got a right to choose their own partner choose who they associate themselves with but it's unnecessary bullying and mickey taking it really is one day you're going to be old, you're, you're going to lose your hair, you're, you're going to lose your teeth, you're, you're going to get wrinkles. But obviously when you're young, you don't think about that. Nobody does until you get older and realise what you did when you was younger was rather nasty, rather cruel and unnecessary. So we all live and learn, don't we? Some people don't, some people even when they're older take the mickey and it's really unnecessary and what annoys me is someone taking the mickey of <coughs> out of someone and, and they're nothing special themselves they've got bad teeth they've got bad hair and they're, they're actually taking the mickey out of other people which is they just can't see their own self in the mirror can they some of these bullies and cruel people just can't they they don't look i don't i think they get up in the morning and think they look fantastic and they haven't even looked in the mirror the ones that bully i mean so i've got up this morning around eight ish made my coffee fed my two cats fed max and it's the same as usual for me i'm I want to keep safe in my home, I want to just look after my pets, my cat is still extremely thin, I'm feeding her double than what I was feeding her before and she was a big healthy size, it's going to take ages. She was wandering the streets for nearly three weeks without any food and water. And she'd absolutely sunk underneath a car, exhausted. And I'm surprised nobody's... I don't know. This, this world is so cruel. It's sometimes hard to live in it, a world that is so cruel and unkind. Um, yeah, so t today, nothing special. Nothing special at all. I'm, a, I'm an older person now. As you get older, birthday is just a birthday. You actually don't want to remember how old you are. Alexa, good morning. Good morning, and a happy birthday to tennis ace Serena Williams, one of the greatest players of all time. I hope her day is both grand and slamming. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 9.04 a.m. Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 17 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, we can expect intermittent clouds, with a high of 22 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Where do you take a sick dog? To the dog. That was, where do you take a sick boat? To the dog. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American tennis player Serena Williams, President of the Los Angeles Lakers Jeannie Buss, British actress Tallulah Riley, American actor Jim Caviezel, and Brazilian footballer Joao Pedro. I've never heard of some of these people. Mind you, when you consider how many people are in this world, you know, even famous people, you can't. I, I can't recall them all. I don't know who all these famous people are. Some, some of them I've never heard of. Tallulah Riley, never heard of them. And Jeannie Bus. Has anybody heard of Jeannie Bus? It's probably American, isn't it? I mean, I'm British, so I don't remember a lot of these American actors and actresses because I live in Great Britain um, so let's do the happy birthday song Alexa let's sing happy birthday mm, 
I don't know that. Alexa, can you sing happy birthday? <coughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Just out of curiosity, uh, how old is Serena Williams? I would say she's 40 something. Alexa, how old is Serena Williams? Serena Williams is 42 years old. Yeah, she's 40 in her 40s, Serena Williams. Um, my generation was uh, Bjorn Borg, John McEnroe, uh, Virginia Wade, Billie Jean King, and um, there's there's another there's loads of them. But I used to like McEnroe and Bjorn Borg. Boris Becker um, came along later on. Alexa, how old is Boris Becker? Boris Becker is 55 years old. Oh my God, Boris Becker is the same age as me. Boris Becker, oh no. Right guys. <coughs> So I took Max out for a walk last night, me Crystal did, by myself, in the dark, on my own, with my torch, it's probably going to run out of battery soon, I am intending to get a new torch. So, I walked, remember this is all to do with food and people thinking I am hungry. So, I was walking around the field, and as, off, as I was coming off the field, I could hear a guy shouting, Muffin! Muffin! What is a muffin? Alexa, what is a muffin? Muffin is usually defined as an individual cup-shaped quick bread made with wheat flour, cornmeal, or the like, and baked in a pan, muffin pan, containing a series of cup-like forms. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for muffin. Alexa, exit. Right, so muffin. Muffin, muffin. I have my torch on. I could see someone coming that way. So I went to the side and I, I let him go past and I walked on. Um, there was a couple of people out walking dogs in the dark around 8 o'clock last night. But it just made me smile. Anything to do with food. Muffin. <coughs> but I tell you what. As I was coming off the field. The guy with the black dog Luna. He let Luna off. Because she had a green shiny collar. You know I'm going to get Max one. A glow in the dark collar. And she came bounding towards me, but she didn't touch me, didn't touch me at all. And she bounded off, and he actually apologised. The guy apologised. Well done for that. He said sorry. He did apologise. So I was happy with that. I walked on, walked past the co-op, and I, I walked down the road, and somebody went... <coughs> <coughs> As I walked down the road, started coughing, like that, got into my flat, settled Max down, and with the 20 quid and a bit of cash I'd saved up because I was going to go out Wednesday to get bread, I went into the co-op and the guy was in there that smokes the vape pipe. He's got blondish and sometimes greenish hair. He ties back and he served me. Um, it was busy last night. There was like deliveries, like delivery drivers and just eat drivers taking bags um, to deliver to people. 
right so it was busy last night because they do a delivery service if anyone's interested the co-op you can have home deliveries you on Deliveroo and Just Eat you can get food from the co-op delivered to you without even going up to it and they had two or three drivers in there so this poor guy was on the counter by himself last night and um, he was trying to uh, deal with the, the, the desk and he was de dealing with delivery drivers as well so fair play to him he was on his own at the, at the desk he was coping well he wasn't stressing out or panicking you know because some staff like start losing it with customers oh wait a minute and stuff like that but he was really really good he wasn't stressed at all um so i i got my bread i got my bread i'll show you i'll show you what i got in the co-op last night so we've got farmhouse a farmhouse original recipe or Burton's bread. This is all thanks to my mum because even if I hadn't have gone up there, that £20 came yesterday afternoon in the post because that was what was underpaid. I paid a postage fee. So we've got some co op free range eggs last night. I also treated myself to a magnum lolly, by the way. Deliciously rich coleslaw. Um, and bear in mind, I have the spaghetti bolognese from yesterday to eat. not to go and get a load of sweets and crisps. I got a Ginster's chicken and bacon pasty. Now that's going to be nice with a little bit of coleslaw and maybe some noodles. So we've got Ginster's chicken and bacon pasty and I don't have to go into the co-op this morning and be made fun of, do I? I don't have to go into the co-op this morning because that woman, she lies to me. She lies to me and makes fun out of me. So I don't have to go in there. Honey roasted peanuts and cashews. These are expensive, but they're tasty. Honey, honey roasted peanuts and cashew nuts. I'm trying to eat healthily, not too much sweets. Um, remember, it is my birthday tomorrow, so I ha yeah, that the the, pe the uh, takeaway is a treat. I won't be doing that all the time. I got my yuzus. I love my yuzu drinks. So I've got three yuzus. While well, they're at one pound ten, they're normally one pound forty. So we've got two banana yuzus, one strawberry yuzu, and I've topped up my mineral water, and that's gone up. The mineral water's gone up. They've put the mineral water up. I got myself a lemon curd yogurt. Lemon curd yogurt. And I've treated myself to some flowers. Flowers. So I've got my flowers. I got my flowers yesterday. <coughs> But I'm telling you now, if it wasn't for my mum, I wouldn't have anything at all. And that's the way it's been since I came down in 2008. If it wasn't for my, my mother, when I did have a boyfriend, he, he would not buy me anything at all. Every relationship I had, apart from when I was married to my ex-husband, who he must admit some of the times that I even paid for the flowers that he was buying. I sometimes paid for my own flowers.
because when I was first married, I, I had a job. I had a job and my mum would sometimes send me postal orders. So I even, even when I was married, sometimes I paid for my own flowers. It's the men I get, the men that, that uh, come and approach me, tell me they love me, tell me they care about me. And I've been, I've had domestic violence more than once. I've had men that are losers, bums, that just want to, to use me for money. And then even go off with other women and use it on them. And that pisses me off, that does. When you lend someone money and they, they tell you that they've, they've either, they've, they want it, oh I want to get you something with it, and then you find out they've used it for either drug use, tobacco, alcohol, or they've been going behind your back with another woman to buy them something. I think that's awful. And I've suffered all of it. And then you say to yourself, why do you actually want to go on a date with somebody? If that is all that you attract, men like that, why? And I say to myself, well, I'm older and wiser now, and if I get to a date with somebody, that's not happening again, is it? Women do it to men as well. There's a guy on YouTube that suffered domestic violence from a woman. She cut him, hit him. It's terrible. But as a person, if you've... I find that a lot of people that have suffered sexual abuse in childhood and people that have suffered bad childhoods and they, they come across as soft and childlike, the part who they find as a partner tries to use them because they're soft and good natured are they I could never do that to somebody take somebody's money tell them I'm going to buy something with it and then either go and get drugs alcohol or buy another woman a present with it it's absolutely 